Okay, so this time we focus on digital forensic, CIA, and physical security. So digital forensic is the process of uncovering and interpreting electronic data for use in a court of law. So the primary goal is to preserve any evidence in its most original from uh, original form while performing a stru structured investigations by collecting, identifying, and validating digital information to respond past events. Okay. This, again, as I mentioned, the, the primary goal is to preserve any evidence uh, in, most, in its most original form <clears throat> while performing a structured investigation by collecting, identifying, and validating digital information to re reconstruct past events. This field has become increasingly important as cybercrime has grown, requiring specialized skills to investigate crimes involving computers and digital data. The digital forensic process typically includes several key phases, no? like identification, preservation, analysis, and presentation. <laughs> and during the identification phase, forensic experts determine the scope of the investigation and identify potential sources of evidence. Preservation involves securing and isolating the data to prevent any alteration. Analysis is detailed examinations of the data to extract meaningful information. And finally, prior presentation involves compiling the findings into a report and preparing to testify in court if necessary. And to give us more details about the topic, let us all welcome our presenter. Go ahead. Good evening, Prof. Good evening, everyone. I'm about to discuss about digital forensics, CIA, and physical security information assurance and security. Digital Forensics. Digital Forensics is the field of investigating and analyzing digital devices like computers, smartphones, and tablets to find evidence related to cyber crimes or other illegal activities. This process involves data collection or gathering, uh, which means gathering digital evidence without altering it or this is a systematic process of gathering and measuring information from various sources to obtain a comprehensive and accurate picture of an area of interest. This process is essential for making informed decisions, conducting research, and evaluating outcomes. Data can be collected through various methods, including surveys, interviews, observations, and digital tools. Preservation, ensuring that the evidence remains unchanged and secure. It refers to the protection, maintenance, and care of something to keep it in its original or existing state. This can apply to a wide range of contexts, such as preserve, uh, preserving historical artifacts, natural environments, food, or digital data to ensure they remain intact and usable for future generations. Analysis, examining the evidence to find relevant information. This is the process of examining, interpreting, and breaking down complex information or data into smaller, more understandable parts to draw conclusions and make informed decisions. This process often involves identifying patterns relationships and trend within the data. Documentation, recording the findings in a detailed report. It is the process of creating and maintaining records, instructions, or information to provide a clear, organized, and accessible reference for future use. This can include manuals, reports, procedures, and any other materials that explain or record how something works or has been done. Presentation. Presenting the evidence in a court of law or to relevant authorities. It is the act of displaying or delivering information to an audience in a structured and engaging manner. This can involve using visual aids such as slideshows, charts, and videos. 
as well as verbal communication to convey ideas, data, or finding effectively. For us to understand more about this, let us watch this picture. Digital forensics analysts are the detectives of the digital realm. They investigate computer-based crimes, search for evidence, recover data, and may identify the sources of cyber attacks. Digital forensics analysts follow several steps when investigating a case. They collect digital evidence from computers, phones, or hard drives, identify and extract relevant data, analyze the data to support or disprove the case, and write reports of their findings in terms their clients will easily understand. They also develop strategies to make computer systems less vulnerable to attack. Most digital forensics analysts work for federal and state agencies to support criminal, counterintelligence, or law enforcement investigations. They are also employed by businesses to investigate fraud and provide support for intellectual property litigation, for example. There are unique challenges in this field. In the search for digital fraud and criminal activity, many positions involve exposure to difficult content. Digital forensics analysts may work long hours to respond to incidents as they unfold, and they must interpret sometimes complex laws to maintain data privacy. Most digital forensics analyst positions require a bachelor's degree in a computer science-related field. Knowledge of digital tools related to cybersecurity, malware analysis, or computer forensics is essential. Related software certifications may also help candidates qualify for positions. Digital forensics can help in cases of hacking, data breaches, and fraud. Digital forensics. CIA triad, triad or confidentiality, integrity, availability. Confidentiality. Ensuring that information is only accessible to those authorized to see it. Techniques include encryption and access controls. Integrity ensuring that information is accurate and has not been tempered in. Methods include checksums, hashes, and digital signatures. Availability, ensuring that information and resources are available to those who need them with, when they need them. This involves maintaining systems and networks, implementing backups, and protecting against attacks that cause downtime. Let us watch this video. What is the CIA triad and why is it important? The CIA triad, or Confidentiality, Integrity and Availability, is an information security model designed to protect information from data breaches. It's a common approach within the cybersecurity industry and is used in the Information Security Management Standard ISO 27001 as well as being referenced in the General Data Protection Regulation, or GDPR. But what exactly is meant by confidentiality, integrity and availability? And how does understanding them help protect your organization from security incidents? Confidentiality refers to an organization's ability to keep sensitive information private and secure. This means preventing unauthorized personnel from accessing the data, whether that's cyber criminals or employees who don't have a legitimate reason to access it. Data confidentiality is most likely to apply in relation to personal data. Maintaining it might mean password protecting files or setting up access controls. You should also consider storing different pieces of information in separate databases. The second element is integrity. This refers to the completeness, consistency and accuracy of data, 
including protecting it from corruption. The quality, relevance and accuracy of data can deteriorate over time, meaning decisions based on it will also become less effective, so it's essential to put controls in place to ensure the accuracy of data throughout its life cycle. For example, if a healthcare organisation sends a patient information about their medical condition, it would need to be certain that its records are correct, otherwise the recipient would receive incorrect information about their health status or might not receive an update at all. The third element of the CIA triad is availability. This refers to an organization's ability to access information when needed. For example, a power cut knocking out an organization's servers, a cloud hosting provider's systems being disrupted, or cyber criminals encrypting the organization's files in a ransomware attack all result in information becoming unavailable. Availability can also apply to a specific employee's ability to view information. If there's a problem with their account or hardware, they might not be able to access information necessary to perform their job. Risk assessments are a critical component of maintaining the confidentiality, integrity and availability of your information. If you understand the risks you face, you can implement the right controls to mitigate those risks. Each element in the CIA triad connects with the others, so when you implement measures to ensure the protection of one, you must consider the ramifications it has elsewhere. By implementing controls to address these risks, you will satisfy one or more of the CIA triad's core principles and help ensure your compliance with information security best practice and data protection law. You can find out more about information security risk assessments and ISO 27001 on our website, itgovernance.co.uk. Together, these three principles form the backbone of a secure information system. What is the CIA triad? Physical security. Physical security in the context of inform information assurance involves protecting physical assets like computers, servers, and network devices from physical threats. This includes access control, restricting who can physically access sensitive areas through locks, security badges, biometrics, scanners, etc. Surveillance, using cameras and security guards to monitor sensitive areas. Environmental control, ensuring that the physical environment, like temperature, humidity, etc., is optimal for electronic equipment. Disaster preparedness. Preparing for natural or man-made disasters with emergency plans and backups to protect physical assets. So far, we've been focused on how we can protect our accounts and personal information, but we also need to take proper care and secure physical access to our computers in order to protect that same information. Here are some tips to make sure your device is properly secured. Do not leave electronic devices in plain sight in a vehicle. Keep devices with you or secure them in a locked trunk for a short period. When you get home, Take them out and store them safely in your house. When at a hotel, use the room safe if available when out of the room. At the end of the day, secure all devices in your classroom and ensure they are not in plain sight or close to a window. Take extra care with your phone while traveling. Pickpockets are widespread and extremely skilled. Even at your workplace, you should secure or at least keep your devices and documents containing private information out of sight before leaving for home. Do not store any personal, private, or confidential data on unsecured USB memory sticks or external hard drives. If you need to store data on a portable drive, contact the IT service desk for advice and assistance. Don't let strangers into a school or board facility without checking their credentials, having them sign in. Attended, even for a short time. If you don't, someone can gain access to all of your accounts and information. Be aware of who's looking over your shoulder if you're processing private or confidential information. Consider obtaining a privacy screen that limits the viewing angle of your monitor. Never share a board device with a family member or any other non-board person. The device is provided and secured for your use only. 
When physical security measures are put in place, we prevent local access to systems and data and protect ourselves and the board. Physical security is essential because even the most secure digital systems can be compromised through physical means like theft or destruction of hardware. I dare to conclude that in the field of information assurance and security, digital forensics helps in investigating and resolving cyber crimes. The CIA trial provides a framework for protecting information and physical security ensures that the physical components of an information system are protected. Together, these areas work to maintain a comprehensive and robust security posture. Thank you. Okay. Of course, uh, right now, no, uh, the the digital forensic process, as I mentioned, uh, relies on various tools, no, and techniques to analyze electronic data. The common tools uh, include in case forensic toolkit and open source tools like op autopsy and SLUT kit. No, techniques involve data recovery analysis of file system, network forensic, memory forensics, and the examination of digital artifacts, such as log files, pending emails, and browser histories. These tools and techniques help forensic experts to uncover evidence of cybercrime, such as hacking, no? fraud, and data breaches. The CIA triad is a fundamental concept in information security that represent the core principles of protecting data. <clears throat> Confidentiality ensures that sensitive information is accessed only by authorized individuals. Integrity involves maintaining the accuracy and completeness of data, ensuring that, is, that it has not been tampered with or altered. Availability ensures that, that the data and systems are accessible to authorized users when needed. Together, these CIA principles provide a comprehensive framework for securing information system. <clears throat> to maintain confidentiality, now organization uses encryption, access controls, and authentication mechanism. Encryption protects data by transforming it into an, an uh, into an unreadable format that can only be deciphered with the correct key. Access controls restrict who can view or use information while authentication mechanism verify the identifies of users attempting to access the data. And these measures help prevent authorized access and protect sensitive information from being disclosed. <clears throat> Ensuring data, uh, ensuring data integrity involves implementing measures to detect no, and prevent unauthorized modification. Techniques such as checksums, no, hash functions, and digital signatures used to verify the authenticity and integrity of data. And this method helps no, ensure uh, that data remains unchanged during storage or transmission, and then alterations can be detected. So maintaining data integrity is essential for accuracy and reliable information. Availability is about ensuring that information and resources are accessible to authorized users when needed. And this involves implementing redundancy, failure mechanism, uh, failover mechanism rather, uh, and regular maintenance to prevent downtown, uh, downtime and disruptions. Techniques such as load balancing, Backup solutions and disaster recovery planning are essential for maintaining availability. Ensuring availability helps organizations continue their operations smoothly even in the face of unexpected events or attacks. Physical security is an open overlooked aspect of information security that involves protecting 
hardware, software, networks, and the data from physical actions and events that could cause serious loss or damage. Physical security measures include access control system, surveillance camera, security guards, and environmental control such as fire suppression system, and even climate control. These measures help prevent and authorize physical access to, to facilities and equipment as well as protect against environmental threats such as fire, flooding, and power outages. Combining digital forensic, the CIA triad, and physical security provides a comprehensive approach to protecting an organization's information asset. While digital forensic help investigate and respond to security incidents, the CIA triad ensures that data is protected from unauthorized access, alterations, and disruption. And physical security adds an essential layer of protections for the physical components of information system. Together, these three Disciplines help create a robust security posture that can effectively safeguard an organization's critical information. And I think that's it for this topic.